from the Hustlers Lounge. I just got my guy Hustle Lounge TV on yeah, there. What's you up? Man, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? Everybody know who we got on Hustle Lounge TV right now. Ooh. Hey, we got UCA Underground Crown Artist. I got some of my crew here, you know, some of my younger guys, you feel me, Yo. in the building. We got, introduce yourself, man. Yo, I'm Reno, B3. Oh. Man, this your boy DG, man, the DG, man. Man, this your boy Lil Hurt putting on, man. You already know B3 forever, man, it's I doubt, man. Hey. Yeah. So what been going on with y'all, man? Okay, well, it basically like, I just been, Putting together, you know, my underground crown artist, LLC music group. Uh, started doing last year, you feel me? Um, I'm also a CEO and an artist. So we've been uh, connecting with a lot of people, fam, like uh, yeah. RKR, Rupert's Killers Records, you know. Uh, I also connected with David Clay, you know, Junior with A&E. Uh, man, like, a lot of inside knowledge that we don't get, you know, underground. You know, we pay, you know, top top people, you know, that, that's already in the industry and in the, you know, the area that know more than what we have to be able to establish ourselves, get a foundation, and that basically this is what we've been doing. You feel me? Building, building so we can yeah, elevate. I feel you. So I'm going to take it back to, uh, to the beginning because this is our first time on here. Like, right, right. how did you start your label? Like, what made you, like, start it up? You know what I'm saying? Oh, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's a situation though. It just, you know, man, I'm gonna start some, start my own, you know, label, my own lane, and just, you know, run with it. All right, it's more like uh, my guy Philip. He and I was gonna say it's a situation. So, you know, I got a situation, and it, when it comes to female, we're overlooked a lot. Yeah. You know, we gotta work so hard, we gotta do so much to get seen. You know. It's basically like we gotta be all up in your face. We don't, we don't even need to do that. We have just as much or even more than the next man, you know. Yeah. And not compare, well, I ain't gonna say not compare. Yeah, I'm gonna compare because we got some badass women in the music industry, in the business right now. We got some badass females that's underground right now, and I'm one of them, you know. And, uh, shoot, uh, I ain't no beast, but at the same time, you feel me? I told my position to hip hop, you know. Yeah, I'm a, you know, shoot, I'm like the Achilles. Kill is a hip hop, you feel me, Jay? Yeah, what it is. So basically, <clears throat> I had to go around a lot of people. Yeah. You know, and um, I just put my money, you know, and me and my fam, uh, my my manager, Sabrina, you know, Denmark, my guy, City, you know, the you see there, you know, let me just put the stuff together. The board of support team. I just put it together, Jay. I, I'm just gonna go on here. Go ahead and do this LLC. You know, my own. I'm gonna sign myself. Yeah. So. That was up. So, like, when you started it, what you find out the disadvantages and advantages of being a female CEO well, in this city? You know what I'm saying? Oh man, some people don't even, you know, like take it serious sometimes. Yeah. But with, with established credibility and people knowing who you are before you start doing your music, they helps you out somewhere. They help me out a lot. Some people didn't know I was doing music. And the advantages of being a CEO is the knowledge I have, you know, of reading and discovering and just going through Google and uh, the music label samples and stuff like that. Just uh, just looking into the real type of business. Right. You feel me? So, man. The advantage of being an artist as well as CEO is good because I'm gonna answer to nobody but me, yeah. business, <laughs> on me. <laughs> so how long you been rapping, you know what I'm saying, before you start before you got your label? I've been rapping off and on, you know, had a couple of we still do have a couple of health issues, but rapping on and off like three years on and off. Uh, yeah. before I was doing the heavy, but some stuff happened, but you know, I just like, nah, music helped me cope. So I just went on here and just been more consistent with it. Yeah. And got the label, you know, built that foundation. You know what I mean? Y'all better look out. Oh, what's up? Oh.